let us go through software update process. There are some things that you'll need even before starting the process. Your mobile phone with the hotspot configured as I mentioned earlier. Your bike's battery should not be above 90% and you'll also need the charger of the bike. Very important thing is to have at least 300 megabytes of available mobile data on your phone because that data will be used to download the software update file from our cloud environment. You have all you need for your software update process, your mobile phone, your bike's battery below 90% and your charger. But how can you be sure that your bike has connected to the hotspot you have configured? The way to do that is to enter the info screen you can see on the bike's display. To access the info screen, you'll need to press the exact middle of the FN button. And while still holding that middle of the FN, press the middle of the joystick. And then you'll enter the info screen. Once you have entered the info screen, there are several information there. But the ones that we'll need are the following. Grape Cloud connection, which needs to be connected. eSIM connection status needs to be disconnected. Wi-Fi connection status needs to be connected to the name of the hotspot on your phone. The default one or the one you have configured with your name and your password. And the last information, Wi-Fi connection type needs to be client. In case your Wi-Fi connection type is not client but hotspot, please contact Grapes support. When you're sure and you have uh, checked all the settings in the info screen and you can confirm that connection statuses are as I have mentioned, then you can proceed with the software update process. You can then go to the next step and plug in the charger into the bike. Once you have plugged in the charger, the display will show it. You will see this notification and which percentage of the battery is currently available. After that, you can proceed and start the software update process. You do that by pressing the combination of buttons, middle of the FN button plus retro button. It is the one just above the joystick. At that moment, on the info screen, you'll be able to see that the software update has started. The second step in the process is, fetch is fetching file. In that step, the bike is downloading the software update file from the internet. And this step sh can take around five minutes, and it is the longer step in the process. Step four of the process is flashing. In this step, the new file is being installed onto one of the partitions of the bike. Now you can see the final step of the software update process, the successful notification. At this point, the, proce the process has ended and all you need to do is press any button to reboot the bike. After the bike reboots, you will be able to see on the info screen that it has the newest software version.